everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you a makeup look all about how to enhance and define your eyes. Now this is a makeup look you can wear every day, you can make it even more natural, simple, or you can enhance it even more for a lovely night out, dramatic, sultry kind of look. So I'm going to do my base first. So I'm going to take my Smashbox Pore Minimising Primer and apply this in all the areas where I like to prime, which is obviously just mainly the centre of my face where I get a bit oily. And after that I'm going to take my Hydrating Face Base from Bobbi Brown. This is obviously hydrating and it doesn't feel heavy under foundation. And for foundation I'm going to take my NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc and just apply it with my Beauty Blender. I'm just focusing this in areas where I like to brighten, just even out the coverage. Next I'm going to take my chubby stick from Clinique in Curvy Contour just to bronze and define my face. I'm just blending everything out with my buffing brush from Clinique. And to make sure everything is super blended and seamless, I'm just going to tap over the top with my beauty sponge. And then for my cream blush, I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Cream Blush in Raspberry Number no. 20. This one's really dark, it's a really beautiful plum shade, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit on that same brush on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up and out. brows I'm going to take my Precisely My Brow pencil from Benefit in 3.5 just to enhance my brow shape and the tail of my brow. As always I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder just to set everything in place to make sure it lasts all day. bronzer, blush and highlighter I'm going to take my cheerleader palette from Benefit so I'm going to go into Hoola with the brush that it comes with for blusher I'm going to dip into Gold Rush this is really nice very similar to Orgasm by NARS as it does have some really nice reflexes in it it just adds a really lovely glowy finish to it and finally for highlighter I'm going to take the cookie shade now finally onto the eyes I'm going to go back in with my bronzer and just sweep this across my crease and on my lids just to give a really nice wash of colour and it's a really good transition shade for the other colours we're going to use so for this eye look you can really use any shades, any tones, whatever you like. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. This is full of beautiful warm pink neutral shades. So I'm going to go in with a mixture of the desk eyes and the day eyes. So these are a bit more brown and then these are a little bit more pink. So I'm just going to mix between them both. I'm going to start off with the middle shade in the day eye just on a fluffy brush and all of these colours I'm focusing mainly on the outer corner of my eyes that way it's just really lifting and elongating the eyes I want it to be quite blown out which is why I'm using the fluffy brush and I'm working it into the crease and up and outwards. I'm not going further than the centre of my eye either. Next I'm going in with this smoke shade from the desk eye. Once again I'm focusing this on the outer third of the eye but I'm just really packing it on before I go in with the blending brush again to just really diffuse any harsh lines, keeping it really lifted and blown out on the outer corner. Next I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown shadow stick in golden pink and I'm focusing this on the inner corner of my eye and onto my lid. To enhance it more I'm going to use my cookie highlighter again and just apply it on top. This is just going to set it in place and make it a bit more intense. Once again take the blending brush just to really blend both the colours together so you can't really see where it stops and starts. It's all about blending and keeping it looking really seamless. Mm -hmm. 
So you can definitely leave it like this, but I'm just going to enhance my little top lash line just a little bit more. And for that, I'm going to take the smoke shade from the Day Eye. Just focus this right on the outer corners. Again, focusing this on the outer third on the upper lash line. And then to get the wing and that smoke out effect, I'm taking it just a little bit past my crease and imagining that there's a line going from my lower lash line to my temples. And then just again to blend any harsh lines together, take your blending brush and then repeat on the other side. For mascara, I'm just going to take my full fat lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. For brow gel, I'm taking my wonderful brow from Rimmel in number three dark and just brushing my brows up and out. I love how tiny and thin this brush is, it just grabs all of the hairs. Finally for lips, I'm going to take my Boldly Bear lip liner from MAC and I'm going to use my Kiko Gloss in number three. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.